The question has been asked, can God use me even if I'm not walking close to him? You know, God is able to use anyone to accomplish his purposes. Did you know that you don't have to trust in the Lord at all to be used by him? In 2 Timothy chapter 2, Paul speaks about vessels for honor and vessels for dishonor. You don't have to trust the Lord at all to be a vessel for dishonor. The idea is that God will take your pride or your stubborn, sinful ways, allow you to walk in them only to expose you or bring consequences so that you become an example of what not to do. In Jeremiah 25, 9, God refers to Nebuchadnezzar as his servant because the Lord was planning to judge Israel and he was going to use the proud, aggressive Nebuchadnezzar to do it. So God allowed a wicked unbeliever to bring consequences upon his own people who had been warned but refused to listen to him. Now, Nebuchadnezzar gets his too. God may have used Nebuchadnezzar, permitting the wickedness in his heart to come to pass. However, it wasn't God who made him do it. So, God also promised to judge Nebuchadnezzar for his tactics and his position against God's people. So Nebuchadnezzar served the Lord's purposes. He was used by God. He was a vessel, but not a vessel for honor. It should be the desire of every believer to be a vessel for honor. A vessel for honor is one that brings God glory. It's a vessel that is cleansed and available for the master's purposes. In other words, God is able to use anyone to accomplish his purposes, but to be a vessel for honor, you must be a vessel that is submitted to and led by the Lord. God uses anyone and everyone he sees fit to accomplish his purposes. Now, there's no question about whether God can or will use you. The real question is, how do you want to be used? As an example of what not to do or an example of what to do? What type of vessel Will you allow him to use you as a vessel for honor or dishonor? Your responses to him, your walk with him, your closeness to him can make all the difference.